everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Happy New Year! It is 2020. My first video of 2020. Is that right? Did I do? No, it's not. It's my second because I did a finish on the uh, Hallelujah quilt right after the first of the year. So I'm so glad to have that done. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you'd like to make it or you are thinking about doing a applique quilt, just go back and watch the videos and at least get an idea of how I use Simply Applique to be able to do that. I had a lot of questions from y'all about, uh, you know, do I use Embrilliance? Do I use Simply Applique? Do I use this other software? I probably need to do a video with an explanation of the difference between all of that. But if you have a real high-end embroidery software that you paid, I don't know, thousands of dollars for, uh, it probably has in it the ability to do what Simply Applique does. The reason Simply Applique is titled the way it is is because it is actually a module that is part of PE11, Brothers PE11, or the BEZ. I think BEZ 4 might do it as well. I don't have BEZ 4, but... I think that BEZ 4 has that in there. Uh, BEZ is Brother Embroidery Software version 4. And uh, y'all had a lot of questions, so I went looking around, did some homework, trying to figure out what it does and, you know, what each one of these things does and whatnot. So for those of you who do not have a real high-end expensive embroidery software like me, then Simply Applique fits the bill for Applique Quilts because it's only about 200 bucks-ish. Thereabouts, right? So to me, that's just worth every penny to be able to uh, create the files that are needed using the scan and cut or the brother canvas and then uh, create uh, embroidery files from those using that software. So that's really a lot of fun and I enjoy every bit of that. So I got a ton of stuff to talk to you about. First of all, thank you all so much for your travel prayers. We had to go to Kansas in the end of uh, the end of December for a funeral, and I got up there. <clears throat> pardon me. We've got cedar fever going on around here in uh, South Texas, so just I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm fine. It's just a little bit of you know stuff in the air. Anyway. Uh, on the way up there, if you follow the Facebook group or my Instagram account, uh, we stopped and had dinner with Joy Bernhardt and her husband Jerry and got to meet them. What a great time that was. We really, really enjoyed that and enjoyed meeting them. Hi, Joy. It was so strange. I could. She was coming from the parking lot. We were at the hotel and she was coming from the parking lot and Keith, my husband, standing there going, Where's their car? I don't see their car. And I said, no, I can hear her. Here she comes. <laughs> and it was just so great to meet somebody that you see. For those of you that have ever met anybody that you watch on YouTube regularly, it was just weird. Or if you ever meet somebody that you see on TV, it's just weird. I was like, I hear your voice and I see you, but you're not in a screen. You're right here. And it was, it was great. We really, really enjoyed the visit. So, uh, Great to get to meet the folks that you watch on YouTube. So anyway, we uh, we thank Joy and Jerry for taking time out of their day to come and hang with us uh, on our trip up to Kansas. So anyway, when we got up there, um, we had to go through the whole help prep for the funeral and all of this. My husband delivered the eulogy, which turned out very nice. And the day before the funeral, I'm thinking, I don't have a thing to wear because I, I just didn't bring anything with me or I don't really have a lot of stuff with me that I could have worn to a funeral in Kansas in the middle of, you know, dead of winter. <laughs> so it was cold. Woo! But um, so I went to Walmart while I was up there in Manhattan and I looked for a skirt that I could wear and I came across It's So Simple McCall's. Now this is style L9551. See that? I made this. Y'all, this is my new favorite skirt pattern. I don't care. So it shows a short skirt on here, but look on the back. It has uh, the straight version, all lengths, 
and it has the fuller version, all lengths. So this pattern was fabulous. I literally made this skirt. I got the I got the fabric at Walmart too. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's it's like a scuba knit. It's it only has two way stretch. It does not stretch. The, the, the stretch this way is not that much, but the stretch this way is quite good. The recovery is great. Um, you squeeze it, it doesn't wrinkle. I couldn't believe it. So y'all, it's two side seams. I made a maxi. Uh, it's just two side seams and a casing that you attach for a waistband with some elastic. The whole thing cost me $15 to purchase the pattern or purchase the fabric. I would say 20 bucks total between the fabric and yes, I traveled with my sewing machine. Of course I did. <laughs> and, um, but I didn't have a serger with me. And you know, I have three sergers. I have one, two here and I have one at the coast. And I was thinking, you know, that Janome serger that I have that just came out of the shop, I could probably make that my travel serger. I need a case for it. I'll probably have to make one of those too. Um, the hem, I normally do a, I have a cover hem machine here, of course, not with me. So I just did a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I just did a blind stitch. <laughs> and I'll tell y'all, I know you've done this. So I have my sewing kit with me and everything I, I thought I would need. And um, anyway, I was at the, I'm at the cutting table there at Walmart and I'm looking straight at the black thread spools, you know, the cheap stuff that's a buck, a dollar there, not the good stuff from Coats and Clark, but the cheap stuff. And I'm looking at it thinking, nope, I've got black thread, I don't need that. And I walked away from it. I got back to the hotel room and I'm digging around. I've got white thread, I've got gray thread, I had blue thread. I didn't have any black thread, I couldn't believe it. So, you know, I'm tearing the place apart. I came, I came across a black bobbin that was about two-thirds full and a deep navy blue bobbin that was about half full and that's what I made that skirt with was bobbins <laughs> hey you got to take care of it right I hear my dog out there barking my husband's outside messing around in his wood shop so what else is going on um you know everybody pulls out their planners in January and I started this one back in 2018 and I was just kind of looking. Um, I pulled it out in January of 19 as well, but I was looking at it and um, it has a, let's see, my project list. I have dinosaur quilt for Calvin, under the sea quilt for Wes, zipper chicks for Callie for Easter, uh, uh, getting to know Hugh, block of the month, and um, a blue and yellow quilt. 2018, didn't do any of them. So I'm not a fan of these things, you guys. And uh, do y'all watch just, is it Do It Right Quilters or Do It Right, right Quilts, Karen on YouTube? She's got a really great channel, you know, a million subscribers or so. So you guys probably all know who she is. And, um, you know, she's talking about these dot journals, dot something or other. I had no clue what that was. I went and looked and I'm like, huh. Okay, whatever, to each his own. I've got enough tops back here on my quilt rack to keep me busy and let me know what I need to do. I don't need to write it down. It's just more time away from the sewing machine in my book. Um, for Christmas, I got the Brother Scan and Cut DX225. Thank you, Santa. And uh, picked that up at All Brands in... Lake Charles, Louisiana. We had gone to Cachata Casino for the holiday. Had a ball. Man, that was expensive. And um, uh, went down to Lake Charles for a ruler and ended up picking up the DX. So I absolutely love it. I have had, and it's operator error. I've had trouble in the past with the other one, the Scan and Cut, the 650 wireless that I had. You have to test the blade depth, you know. And, um, this one you don't have to do that, so that's very cool. I liked it. It's quiet. And I got three charm packs from a friend of mine for Christmas, along with some chocolate. So these are nice and bright, totally up my alley. So that's nice. 
uh, I got these. Um, while I was in Kansas, uh, I don't know if any of y'all have looked back on my previous videos, I'm in Daughters of the American Revolution, and I had a period costume uh, I use that we, you know, wear in parades and state conference and whatnot, and it's 4092, Simplicity's 4092. So this is Simplicity 4092, and this is the pattern I had made that dress out of. Well, I made that dress 45 pounds ago, and so the way it's structured, it, you, you can't just take it in because it has an inner lining and... Uh, I didn't want to fiddle with all that, so I decided I was just going to make another one. The the underskirt, I can probably alter. It's got grow grain ribbon across the top. I can cut that off, narrow it down, and make it fit. But the uh, the outer skirt I and the sleeves and all that just were not going to work. And honestly, the fit of this thing is about, you know, the 1700s too. It didn't have any ease in the back. Uh, I needed to make it a little bit bigger for my big old broad back. But I've been on the lookout for some fabric to make it out of. And you can tell this kind of has a, a damask, damask print or whatever that is. Can you tell through the wrapper? Well, when I was up in Kansas, I went to Fence Line Fabrics up there. And also the Thrifty Notion. That's a very cool store. You guys need to check out that video I did. And she had this. Oh, look at this. I only needed like five and a half, so I was going to get seven yards. I just went ahead and got the whole 13 yards, but it's like a pretty lime green. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Y'all, $7 a yard. You can really get good stuff up there at a thrifty notion. So this was probably somebody's dead stock. I think this belonged to an interior decorator up in Kansas. And it was part of her stuff. And it's a rayon acetate. I'm going to go ahead and line it probably with a, uh, a cotton muslin. There's a parade during Fiesta, which is, happens every April and in San Antonio and my Daughters of the American Revolution chapter we walk in that parade so it's not the Battle of Flowers or the big one it's a real solemn parade and uh, that happens it starts at the old municipal auditorium and they walk about a mile in silence in honor of all of those who died at the Alamo so um, I'm really excited about that I think that's really cool I need to see if I can get a parasol and you know dye it to, to match that so that'll be real nice I had some stuff come in. That quarter shop had these uh, these these quilt labels that uh, they had. They're pretty big. I normally prefer a smaller quilt label, but I went ahead and got it. And uh, so it, this screams Lori Holt. I'm sure it's hers. Yep, Lori Holt of Be in My Bonnet, Riley Blake Designs. She's got a really cool quilt coming out. Um, uh, you feminists, close your ears, but it's an honor to all the housewives of the 1950s. And I think it's just cute as can be, but uh, it's an adorable quilt. Oh, also, you know who else has a really new block of the month that's out with Fat Quarter Shop is uh, Kim Deal. And she's a very, very good long arm quilter. And I took some of her long arm quilting classes on Craftsy. And she has designed a new quilt, and it's a block of the month. I saw it. It was advertised today. So you might check that out, too. Just go out onto Fat Quarter Shop and look block of the month, and they'll all come up. So they got a lot of neat stuff out there. That's a beautiful quilt, too. So I like to tease feminists. My mother burned her bra in Alamo Plaza in 1972. <laughs> I'm blessed to be the daughter of a feminist. Um... Fat Quarter Shop also had one of these panel quilts for, it's called Merry Christmas, Gradient's Holiday, beautiful stuff. I have it on good authority. Do not wash these. They will fade. Um, if you want it the way it is, you need to leave it the way it is and just quilt it as is. Uh, I think Joy had one, and I think she got some bearding when she was long arming it and she was just sick about it. I think she told me about that. So I also got a vintage vibe. 
Um, this is also one of Fat Quarter Shops. Uh, they had their they have their flash sale, which is a lot like Missouri Star's um, Daily Deal. And for those of you who don't know, Fat Quarter Shop they used to put their new products out on their flash sale every day at 10 a.m. They have changed that now to 8 a.m. So that just means I got to check at work earlier than I normally do. I do it on the phone, not the office computer. <laughs> And then Missouri Star had a fancy fan table topper, which I thought was real cute. This was one of their deals, and it came with some Bozal craft batting. So I got that as well. That's kind of my haul. A lot of you told me that you got new machines for Christmas. Yay! How fun! Um, whether you got a new machine for you or you got an upgrade, uh, you're probably, especially if it's brand new, you're probably looking at it going, yeah, I'm so excited and ah, I'm terrified of it, <laughs> which is, I totally get that. I got an embroidery machine and it sat in the box for a year. And then when I got it out of the box and set it up, I just set it there and I looked at it for another, I don't know, year and a half, didn't touch it. And that was only the Brother PE770. I could just imagine, you know, the ones now that have all the computer screens and stuff. I mean, I'm used to them now, but uh, I'm even intimidated by other uh, brands of embroidery machine other than Brother because Brother is what I'm used to. I'd have to sit there and stare at the screen too. So what I'm getting to is I'm going to do an embroider along. I'm going to do two embroider alongs. And they're going to be real quick. I will put a link to both of them in the description box below. One of them is by Kimberbell, and it is called uh, Mini Wall Hangings Cozy Winter. This is what that looks like, okay? Really cute little stuff, all right? So for those of you that have an embroidery machine and you're like, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of money on these designs. And, 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 and mess it up. And I don't want to take a nice shirt and try to embroider it and mess it up. All right. This is free. This is going to be, this is a free pattern. I'll link, but um, these are great. Kimberbell is fabulous if you are new to machine embroidery because the instructions are so, so good. I mean, they give you picture step-by-step -step instructions how to do every little thing. It tells you when to change your thread color. It tells you when to put the, the fabric down and you just do what it tells you and hit go and then your machine will do its thing. The nice thing about this is they have a medium size that is for a six by 10 hoop and they have a small size for the five by seven. And I'm gonna do the five by seven the other night I went ahead and got my fabrics ready of what I was going to do and uh, they want you to back your main piece of fabric with a, uh, a stabilizer, an iron-on, actually like a interfacing. I got Shirt Tailor from Walmart, a couple of bucks, works great. It, it's the 950F is the style, I'll link to it. And this is fusible non-woven interfacing and it it's great because it can support those stitches that they have in the middle with the words and whatnot so you don't get a lot of puckering so this will be real nice so yeah I I'm gonna do that we'll do it in one video shoot and we'll just go through the whole thing step by step and you'll be able to see how it's done and you can do it yourself you can do it right along with me and uh, you need a piece of batting that's not ginormously big, which is great. So you can use some scrap batting. I just, this is a scrap off of something. I cut it to size. And uh, my backing pieces. So this is great. This is, these are scraps I had from the We Whisk You a Merry Christmas line of fabric, which is also a Kimberbell thing. So um, I think it'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. Also, the second one I'm going to do is something that I'm going to do every month. And Designs and Machine Embroidery, Eileen Roche, is fascinated with the architecture of doors. You know, like front doors or building doors or whatever. 
and they have a she has a wonderful month to month to month she's going to do a little wall hanging with a door that she has digitized herself and you can put it on a little stand and hang it and each month you'll have a different door so that sounds like a lot of fun the first one is a door from boston so that's pretty neat i've never been there kind of cool it's got some skis and some snow looks kind of cold <laughs> those of you that might want to do the kimber bell with me they uh recommend that you the the pattern requires a couple of little embellishments like a, a snowman a penguin and a cup of hot cocoa well um i don't have any of those so i went to hobby lobby today and i picked up these little they're called la petites and they are dimensional stickers so kind of cool here's some snowmen i'm going to use these and I'm going to use these little snowflakes. And I'll just put them there and see how they go. I think it'll work. I don't know why it wouldn't. You know, I'm not going to get it wet or anything. So it's just a little wall hanging. Just a little hanging you can put on a rack or something. So anyway, that's about it. I think that's a lot. It's <laughs> a lot to talk to you guys about. So I will do these two embroider alongs uh, before the end of the weekend. I want to get them done. And uh, I've got a lot going on, you guys. So it's a lot of fun here. So many things to do in the new year, and it's so exciting. I got trips planned, so you can come along with me on my little field trips and videos to do. And I think it's just going to be a great year. So, uh, again, thank you all so much. I have a wonderful thank you to all of you on my blog, PowerToolsWithThread.com. And thank you for all your subscriptions to my YouTube channel. My stats are like crazy. And thank you for all your subscriptions to my uh, blog. It means a lot to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So that's it, guys. Go sell something. Bye.